Hey guys, it's Room the Math Person, and I'll be going over question 304 on SOA exam B. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you try this problem yourself, let's just dive right in. The number of minor surgeries X and, and the number of major surgeries Y for a policyholder this decade has a joint cumulative distribution function of this thingy for non negative integers X and Y. Calculate the probability that a um, policyholder experiences exactly exactly three minor surgeries and exactly three major surgeries so that's basically just asking probability that x equals three and y equals three and then notice they give you the cumulative distribution function so again cumulative cumulative distribution function is the antiderivative of the distribution function the probability distribution function and the derivative of this is when we found when we find the probability density function. So we can take it this approach, or we can just think of it geometrically. And I think I'm gonna do think of it geometrically. <laughs> so I think less math, less error, right? Okay. So when it's um, if I, for example, say that f of three of three. Well, this area is equal to, it's since it's CDF, it's this whole area from 3 to 3. So it's going to count for this part. So that means this is looking at when f is x is less than 3 and y is less than 3, right? Technically. So then that's why, but we don't need the whole area. We just need when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 3. So then how do we do that? Okay, well, remember in like other videos where if I had... Um, a PDF of like if I had a CDF of a um, single variable and I, I wanted to find exactly 3 I'll take I'll find it at f of 3 then I'll subtract 2 right because if I subtract 2 that leaves me with 3 which is what I exactly 3 which is what I need so the same idea kind of happens here so I'm going to take the 2 away except so I'm going to take this minus 2 of 3, right? So then this whole area is gone. Minus f of 3 of 2. So this area is gone, right? But notice, notice, this is something key that I didn't catch the first time. Was that um, this area in the middle, the 2, the CDF of 2, 2, when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2, this area right here is counted twice. So we have to actually add one of them back so we don't double count it. So then this is what we're looking for. Okay, okay, let me check. Okay, so let's just dive right in. So 3, 3, hey, we just have to plug in 3 to this thing right here. I have full faith that you guys can do this. 1 minus 0.5, um, 3 plus 1. This whole thing multiplied by 1 minus 0.2, um, 3 plus 1, right? And then minus this whole thing again. Okay, can I do it? Can I do it like this? I think so. Copy. Paste. Oh, nope, not there. Paste here. Paste. Okay, perfect. Except I want it in a different color. Can I also do that too? Yeah, I think so. Right? But this one, instead of 3 plus 1, this one's going to be... 2 plus 1, right? Minus, paste it again, paste the sucker again, paste, paste, here we go, here we go. Oh, where, where am I? Okay, here we go. This thing is red, drag it over here, and this is actually going from 3 plus 1 to 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1. Okay. And lastly, 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 plus adding that 2, 2 back in because we don't want to double count it. So adding that 2 back in, that's going to be 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1. All right, right? Okay, so this, if I plug it into the calculator, is equal to is 0.0004, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, 
feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!